Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transplant my peas that I sowed in the gutter into the, the bed. Now, I did do an experiment on the peas. I did, uh, I sowed them in the gutter, half of it had a magic ingredient. Ask me what the magic ingredient is and I will tell you on that particular half, it's germinated. I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five germinated on that side out of it might have been about um, I reckon it's about 50% germination rate on that side the peas are killing me on this side I did it without the magic ingredients and you can see there's a total of one two to be fair I think one came up on the corner here but it died so that was the gutter experiment that I did magic ingredients it did germinate a lot better so now all I'm going to do is put them into the ground the tools that I'm going to need to put them into the ground are trusted ruler this is uh, straight as far as I can see. There we go. We're going to need a trowel. We're going to need hands. We're going to need a smile. And then we're going to start digging away. Okay, so now I've actually dug a trench uh, in here. I've, I've been digging away, digging away. Uh, you probably will see the trench in the video. It's just along here. What I'm going to do is going to give it a quick water so I can moisture the soil underneath. And then I'm going to slide the gutter in there. I've not done this before, so bear with me. It's going to be fun while I do it. It's probably going to be a little bit fiddly. Okay, so here goes the fun part. Unclip, unclip, pull this out. And the, thing, and the plan is, it's a full length of that. And what I'm going to do is literally slide my hand in, let gravity pull that down. And then that in there. Oh, it's working fabulously. Oh, I am chuffed with it. Oh, oh kind of fiddly that in there okay it's kind of working Put in there grab the next section slide it right along there move this along I'm gonna reckon grab all of this here slide it all along there slide it right along slide that back and as you can see, my runner beans have, sorry, my peas have kind of uh, got nice into place. All I'm going to do is just tidy that up, cover it with some soil, get these propped up a little bit. Um, and I'll be, uh, going to be honest, I'm quite happy with uh, the way they've gone. So uh, I get it tidied up, plant some more peas in here, move them in from the side, get them propped up a little bit. And that's a go. Okay, so hopefully you can uh, see what I've done here. I ran the peas in, I put the peas in here. And then what I've done is I put a couple of canes in, okay. Um, and I've attached this net. It's, it's, it's quite difficult to see on the camera. However, I will take a closer picture. I've attached this um, metal mesh net up from here with some normal everyday um, a garden ties and I've just run it along here so the peas, what peas will do is come up here, gradually climb up here, climb up here, climb up here. Now I've only got a handful of peas so what I've decided I'm actually going to do is um, I'm going to do another gutter tray at home, okay? Do another gutter tray at home and then bring them here and then slide them in up or, or and in addition to that what I'm going to do I'm going to sow some peas in here. We're still in the middle of May so I can still sow some peas in hopefully the peas will come up now I actually have another one on the go at home which I'm probably going to put along here so there is enough space and again you want to need enough space you can reach okay so you can reach and I've said it before and I'm going to say it again top tip when you make a bed make the bed so that from this side you 
to reach to the middle, and from that side, you should reach to the middle as well. That way, you can weed, 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 pick, 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 and you're not stretching too far to uh, right to the end. You can always pick. That way, you can take out everything here and back here. That's the top tip. So, with regards to peas, peas will hopefully grow up this, and then uh, that will be the peas going on. We'll get some delicious peas when we can have them. I will uh, keep you updated on where the peas are. Okay, so one of the things I forgot to uh, sow this year was cauliflower. Now, I've already done my cabbage. I've got plenty of cabbage on the go. I've actually put them at the plot. But I have bought some cauliflower seeds and I am going to sow them. But we're now in the middle of May. Okay, I was just checking the quick time. So what I have done, I've, I've cheated a little bit and I have bought some... Um, cauliflower here the the YXL version now on the back of here again I don't know if you can see all the information is on there and it says plant out from March to July and then harvest July onwards so all I'm going to do is these are some plug plants that I bought from a local retailer I'm going to pot them all up and once I'm potting them up um, I'm probably going to leave them for maybe about uh, a month okay and then I'm going to put them into the uh, into the pot but I am cheating a little bit because I forgot to plant them so Let's, let's get these potted up. So I've got my compost mixture ready here. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is pot these all up. And then what I'm gonna do with my dibber is make a nice little hole in there. Nice little hole in there. Nice little hole in there. Oh shit, there's a worm in there or something. I'm not a massive worm man, but that's okay. Let, 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 let's get rid of that fella. Oh, you see me shaking the hell there. Got a nice little hole in there, okay. And then slowly, let's, 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 let's take this off. Slowly, I'm going to tease it out of there. Try and get as much as that of I can. Drop that straight in there. Right in there. As deep as I possibly can. And then press it down nicely. That'll be one done. Let's tease the next one out, okay? So now that I've done these, okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of the 11 that I've got in here and then these I'm going to just store in the greenhouse until they get a little bit stronger um, and you know they've got a couple of more true leaves on there and once I've done that I'll be putting them next door to the, the cabbage so I'll have cabbages on one side of the plot, I'll have cauliflower on the other side and I'm debating about what else I'm going to do on this side. So uh, continue watching but I'll get all this done and I'll come back to you. Okay, so what I've done is I've finished transplanting cauliflowers and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, all I'm going to do now is give them a good watering and once I've given them water, I'm going to leave them in the greenhouse just so that they get happy in the, in the pots and when they're a little bit larger, um, they've grown maybe, I don't know, I'm guessing about six inches or so, then I'll be putting them straight into the plot. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this episode of J Man Can. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Tell all of your friends. 